What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Morgan here at Morgan Oko Gaming. We're back with episode 15 of our Sword and Shield versus Nuzlocke with Mr. Joe Zamora from Zamora Gaming. Tell me how you're doing, Joe. I'm doing great, Morgan. As y'all heard him say, I am Zamora Gaming, Joe Zamora, and I am here on my channel with my co host, Morgan Oko Gaming. And 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> So, if y'all remember from last episode, uh, I had demoralizing defeat along with more bad luck. Yeah, I don't even remember what happened. I had, it's, been, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. But I remember because it was really bad. At least for me. Yeah, that looked good. So, I am here <laughs> with three Pokemon left. Rapidash with two lives. Ivy, uh, Venusaur with two lives and Cooperaja with two lives. And it's still 12 12, right? Yeah, still 12 12, but you have the hefty advantage of having uh, five of your Pokemon still with you. Yeah, my Cinderace has two lives, my Drake Result has two lives, Orbeetle two lives, Berserk with two lives, and my Rapidash has three. So you're you're in a good spot. You pretty much already won this one, but we're gonna finish it off and see what could happen. It's possible that, that I think I was losing really bad, and then I came back. So oh yeah, Game's but all your Pokemon evolved, and I still had a Dreepy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm blaming it on the Dreepy. It's my fault. I, I shouldn't have had a Dreepy on my team, and I would have been in a much better position than I am now. Yeah. Potato, potato. I don't know how that that really helps here, but, you know. Because I was going to put a water type on my team, but I was like, eh, I put Dreepy. Because having a Dreepy. I didn't do for competitive. It would, I don't, I don't I, think I, he, I, he, I he didn't either. See. I just put Pokemon I wanted to use. We didn't even know we were going to do this whenever we made our team, so, you know, it, it was just fate that I was still winning this. Well, so. I, well, I knew, uh, cause you were halfway through breeding your team, but I knew I was going to pick these, pick certain mods, but it was just going to be mods I haven't used yet, not necessarily trying to be competitive. That's what I did, too. I just used everything that I hadn't used yet. That I like. These are like my least favorite of my favorite from this gen. Like, it's been a while since I used a Venusaur, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna put it on my team. And then I like Cooperage's design and Rapidash's design. <coughs> I'm excited for this DLC. This is a month. That drops really soon. I definitely can't wait, but it it doesn't seem like it's gonna add that many Pokemon as, as they, they made it seem. I mean, it said 200 plus, like, all these, I don't know, 200 plus seems pretty hefty to me. I hope so. I mean, I saw a list of, like... It's gonna be released over the span of two. I don't, I don't really care at this point. I'm not, I'm not worried about Pokemon coming back anymore. I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I just don't care about that anymore. I don't know why. If it, if they come back, they do. If they don't, they don't. Whatever. My Metagross is coming back regardless, so I don't really care. <laughs> I just can't wait till Needle King comes out. Yeah, me too. Some, a lot of my favorites are coming back. Garchomp. You know, I just noticed uh, I'm doing this. Uh... Yeah, Garchomp's not coming back till November, though. Yeah, I'm still coming back. Um, I just noticed that uh, I'm at the Dark Gym. Yeah. But. The Pokemon they have doing barriers is a psychic fairy type. It's uh, Mr. Mime, Cantonian form. Hmm. So it's interesting. It's like, why do they have a psychic fairy type at a dark type gym? Just hanging around, making fake walls. <laughs> oh, fuck. Pushed the wrong move. Oh, Marty's a pain in the ass. Oh, you just got there? 
I, I mean, I've been battling her, but she's a pain in my ass. Yeah, her team now is pretty, pretty decent. Well, she just is status. She keeps pulling status shit. God damn it. I'm fighting a Scrafty. Man, Venusaur is bulky. And powerful. Yes, he is. The next one I do, I want to do with, like, Jesus Christ. Every fucking thing paralyzes me. Um, after we, do, after we finish this up, what do you think about doing a soul link? I don't know what that is. Okay, it's basically what we're doing now, but we're working as a team instead of facing each other. How does that work? Okay, so basically we go to route each route. It's we're like doing a nuzlocke, so we catch the first Pokemon we see, and um, depending on what it is, we we link those two up. So like, let's just say we pick our starters. You pick, uh, let's say you pick Cinderace and I pick uh, Grookey. So basically, that'd be our soul link. And if your Pokemon fainted, that makes my Pokemon faint as well, even if it doesn't fade in game. Ooh, gross. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and so we just have to go through the game like that. Yeah, we have to beat the game uh, together with our full team. Well, not full team, but you know, we have to beat the game with our teams that we catch in game. Hmm. I'm not opposed. That sounds interesting. Oh, it's difficult as fuck. That sounds hard. But at least in this way, we can do uh, ROMs, and we can make random. I can make randomizers for us, and we can play like Emerald or something. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So we don't have to keep playing Sword and Shield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do that for sure. So everyone keep an eye out for that, because that's going to be coming up after this, at some point. That's so long. Where do people come up with this stuff? YouTubers. So long. So link. Oh, so link. Yeah. J just look up, um... The one I watched a lot was King Nappy and Shady Penguin. I don't know. I've heard of King Nappy. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't really do YouTube anymore. No, really? What's he do? Uh, I don't know what he does now, but they he kind of stopped doing YouTube because uh, he got caught doing some like grooming shit with like. That's why I know who he is. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Okay. Well. That's gross. Yeah. Disgusting. Disgusting man. <laughs> But that's a good example of what to watch, like how how it would go. But they have more enforced rules than we would we would have. They have it to where it has to be a different gender and a different typing. I mean, a different gender and a different. Uh, oh yeah, different gender and different typing. Like a uh, water and a water can't be paired together. Okay. Well, why don't we do that? That sounds it. Let's make it hard. Okay. Well, you gotta think, uh, most pair, like, uh, the most common Pokemon are water normal types. Mm -hmm. So that's like the most paired up Pokemon that you're gonna be getting. And that's what makes it hard, because you can't have multiple water types on each other's teams. Like, if I have a water type, you can't have a water type. That's how strict their thing is. Oh, that is hard. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. All right. It sounds it's still doable. I'm down either way. I think that sounds tough. Certainly not gonna be easy. Man, uh, I'm sure really like the, the, there's like a egg lock idea. Like people give you eggs. I think that's a cool idea. Yeah, but I don't know how to set that up. What do you mean? Like to get people to send in eggs and stuff like that. 
I'm sure we can get people to get us eggs. Yeah, but we also don't want to get repeated Pokemon up the ass either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. That would be funny. There's over 800 Pokemon. Not in well, this game. <laughs> what? What happened? I said not in this game. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just depends on what game we do. Like, there's some that are already, like, you can just download as is and it's already preset. Like, the eggs are already there. Oh, yeah. I just don't know where to find those. It does kind of suck, though, because all the DLC I'm looking forward to, like, all the stuff I saw is November. Like, all the legends and shit. Yeah, it is. It is pretty far out. Did you see that big leak that they that it dropped the other day? Yeah, the one Dusty shared. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, Dusty yeah, shared yeah, 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 yeah. That's the only one I've heard of, so. I think I believe it. I believe most of it. Some things do sound outlandish, though. But like what? I don't remember. I just knew some things. I was just like, eh, I don't, I don't think that'll happen. Cool but most of it would. What happened? I said, how fucking cool would a Manticore luck to be, though? A Manticore? Do you know what a Manticore is? No. Like a lion, a uh, winged lion, like a griffin? You know what a griffin oh, is? Oh, yeah. Dude, that'd be dumb oh, as hell. Yeah. But that'd be, that would seem like it'd be more of a legend or something. Well, that's like, a, it's like English folklore. So yeah, yeah I know. Then, I don't know. I think it's cool. I, I, I think they've released enough legends, though. Well, he's a luck man. He's not a legend. He would be a legend. I think he'd be classified as a legendary, though, because a Pokemon that powerful, based on the mythical stuff that most legends are. And hey. uh, that's pretty interesting, what they were saying about the three legendary birds in... in uh, DLCs. Yeah, not being Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Yeah, I, I believe it. Own thing. I mean, it would I make sense. It. I think that's cooler, honestly. Yeah, because I, I wasn't with uh, actually changing completely, you know, Zapdos into a fighting ground type or whatever it's supposed to be. Yeah, I really like the idea of it just being its own set, like its own trio. But, like, paying homage to Gen 1, I think it's cool. Oh, they're always going to do that. Gen 1's yeah. always going to be a callback, too. God damn it. First move in the gym battle, I miss. Really? Yeah. Well, let me know when you because you get a point. And I need all the points I can get right now. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh yeah, and that's the thing about this gym. There's no Dynamaxing. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that. So at least that's one thing I ain't gotta worry about. <laughs> Kinda sucks that you don't get to do it though, just cause he doesn't like to do it. Oh no! What happened? Okay. Did you get thumped? Whew! Almost! <laughs> I used a uh, body press on Obstagoon and it did half damage and then he used counter. Oh gosh. So I was like, oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> but I hung on. <laughs> Thank God for the HP. Jesus Christ, man. That would have sucked. Team Meal sucks. They're terrible. Oh my god. This thing's out for blood. And my dumbass didn't get hyper potions.
You didn't get high professions? No. What are you doing, guy? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Seriously, what are you doing? I'm trying to lose, apparently. <laughs> I stock up on them. I checked my my bag. All I have is super potions. It's like that's not fucking helpful at all. Way to drop the ball. I know. Oh, that's why I'm losing. <laughs> Man, I was losing really bad. Like, cause when we're filming this, we're only up to seven is up on YouTube. So then this is fifteen. Like in episode seven, I'm getting my ass beat. Oh, yeah. My my titles are like, is it too late for me and shit? <laughs> and now I'm whooping your ass. <laughs> that was before I lost all those lives to the fire gym. Yeah. That was yeah. my downfall, and I knew it was gonna be. How funny. Oh, oh boy, now I gotta try to beat this. I want to finish this before the draft because two of I drafted two of these ones. <laughs> you want to use them? Yeah, I want to use them. So I have to build them. I'm sure we'll definitely be done before Friday. Mm -hmm. Well, I probably won't do my match until. Well, I got all the time in the world actually. My first match is Keith, so I don't think I'm gonna win anyway. But we'll see. There's no way to prep for game one except for to look at their... Well, there's really no way to prep anymore. Like, not being able to watch gameplay really fucking sucks for drafts. Oh, it is yeah. not... I was really hoping they would patch that in with the DLC, but they ain't fucking I done. I can't believe that they... I just can't even believe they took that away. I don't understand what purpose that serves to not have it. I don't know. But I wish they would put it in in the DLC or patch or something because at this point I can only uh, post my videos onto the PML website or YouTube channel when I used to post everybody's so it kind of sucks and it's easier to uh, record the videos now so uh. well that's sucks. Like Alright, Skunk Tank, you need to go down. I'm just now reaching the gym, the leader. I'm watching him sing. <laughs> I love that movie. Oh, yeah. My wife, yes. me, me and my wife has watched that movie way too much. I don't know what you're talking about. What movie? The movie Sing. I'm not talking about Sing. I'm watching this guy sing. I know, but I was making a joke. Jesus Christ, Joe. I've never even seen Sing. <laughs> it's a good movie. I don't know why you have it. <laughs> Seth MacFarlane <laughs> is the mouse. Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane is the mouse. Yeah. He sings a bunch of Frank Sinatra in the movie. It's it's a singing movie. Couldn't tell. I mean, um, yeah. It's, what'd you say the title was? Sing. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, cool. uh, well, I just beat the gym, so I I'm up thirteen to twelve, but yeah, that doesn't matter. All right, thirteen to twelve. Thirteen to twelve. Thirteen to twelve. Joe's up, man. Joe's up. Not really. Pokemon-wise, I am not. Do you have anything with one life left on it? No, everything has two. Oh, okay, that's good. I almost had every, I almost had two Pokemon with one life. <laughs> oh, oh, that would have been terrible. Huh? That would have been terrible. Hell yeah, that would have been real bad. See, they could have done more with the storyline here, where uh, Leon fights the Gigantamax Pokemon outside of an arena. And yeah. They didn't even show the battle or nothing. You just, it's nothing. Dude, this game, I don't care what anybody said. Like, they did some stuff, it seems like they took their time on, but a lot of it was lazy. Oh, yeah. A lot of it. Especially the story. 
And that's why I, I like most. That's why I like, like most. I dumbing down the gameplay for kids, but like the story doesn't have to suck. I don't understand why the story has to suck now. I know. I get it. Gen Seven, the story was amazing. Yeah, everything before that was great. Gen Gen Five, Gen Five had a great story. Oh, that was the best. But now, I don't know. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping to look forward to the storylines in the DLC because that's gonna really boost it for me. Well, did you watch the trailer for the the one that's coming out, the tower thing? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get both DLC. I'm gonna pay for both, so I can get both. Oh yeah, you get it's thirty dollars for both. Well, it's thirty for both, but I'm gonna get it for both games, so I'm gonna pay sixty. Oh, okay. Is it different? Yeah, I mean, you can't get. I mean, you can get it if somebody hacks or if somebody trades you, but you can't get Urshifu in both uh, forms unless you have shield, sword, and shield, mm. which you have both, but you'll have to pay for the DLC price. True. Just, just like playing, like buying the game twice, essentially. Eh, it wouldn't hurt to play through it multiple times. No, I'm going to play through it twice because it'll be at least a little different. I mean, there are things in this game that I'm glad that I played. There's two separate gems that I had not played through. One I didn't even realize existed, so... <laughs> the ice. Yeah, I didn't even realize it existed. I had seen that gem trainer before, I just didn't know who it was. I don't like you. What's it? What is this thing's last Pokemon? Uh, what's Skunk what? Tank. Are, I don't know what it's in. Huh? Skunk Tank. Skunk Tank. Okay. Is that the one you're on? Yeah. All right. Well, we're at 22 minutes. Yeah, maybe we should end it now. Or yeah. do you want to go ahead and do? No, let's go ahead and knock it out. Why not? Let's go ahead and knock it out. It can be a little over. Okay. Oh dang, that's that your way of saying it's gonna be a quick battle? <laughs> it probably is gonna be pretty quick. Unless yeah, I mean we can make it. Uh we can do a separate episode if you want. We can just end it here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and end it so we can have more substance to the next cause the next gym's pretty quick, I think. This was the seventh gym, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and knock it out because there's a bunch of bad storyline in the next episode. So we could just do it now. You do want to do the gym? The well, battle, if there's yeah. a bunch of bad storyline in the in, then let's let's do the let's do the battle next one. If there is a bunch of bad storyline, yeah. Because then that's all. Another bad storyline. Okay. Well, that works for me then. All right, cool. Well, let me get out of this dialogue, and then we will wrap it up. That's so the score said. is 13-12. No lives lost in this episode. Luckily. Luckily for me, anyway. And here we go. <clears throat> yeah, this is where all the gems get clumped together, and then the only thing that separates is that little story about the commissioner, whatever he, he's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, come on, Leon. Also, Leon is by far the worst champion ever, too. Oh, yeah. Trash. All right, I'm saving. So, are you good to save? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Um, check the description for the link below. In the link below, yes. Check the link in the description <laughs> below <laughs> for the last episode and uh, the unlock after episode 16, where I'm gonna beat Joe's ass. First thing. All right. Only because so you have the numbers advantage. But alright guys, see y'all guys next time. The numbers, that means I'm winning.